The percutaneous transcathedral mitral valve repair is an alternative therapy for severe symptomatic mitral regurgitation in patients with high surgical risk. Echocardiographic guidance in addition to fluoroscopy is mandatory. Good echocardiographic knowledge of both the imager and the interventionist is essential for a clear communication during the procedure. A standardized approach improves safety and helps to ensure the success of the procedure. This video shows our echocardiographic guidance, including views and measurements, highlighting crucial steps during the intervention. Exclude pericardial effusion before transeptal puncture. If a small pericardial effusion is present, measure the maximal antiastolic echolucent space in the four-chamber view with a focus on the right ventricle, a mid-esophageal right ventricular inflow-outflow view and a long axis view. Show the short axis view with focus on the left atrial appendage. Sweep then at 40 to 60 degrees and rotate the probe anticlockwise to show the left upper pulmonary vein. Assess the flow in the right upper pulmonary vein by sweeping at 90 to 110 degrees. Find the best intercommissural view at 50 to 70 degrees. Take a perpendicular view in the three segments with and without color Doppler and measure the length of the posterior mitral leaflet. Then check the leaflet morphology again. Assess the transmitral pressure gradient with continuous wave Doppler in the long axis view at 120 to 140 degrees. Take a 3D color Doppler dataset or a wide sector zoom image with color and measure the 3D view.